1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by hasan gilani first the headlines imran khan says siphoning off of billions of dollars due to lack of rule of law has imposed collective poverty on our public Information minister says government wants to hold talks with opposition for reforms but opposition is only interested in relief for their corrupt leadership. Genocide Watch has urged international community to play its role in confronting the Hindutva ideology which poses threat for genocide of Muslims in India. In the ICC under 19 World Cup Pakistan plays first match against Zimbabwe at Pastare today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has emphasized on the struggle to embody the guiding principles of the state of Medina as laid down by the Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Khatimun Nabiin. In an article appeared in Daily the Express Tribune today, he said besides many other important principles, there were five very important guiding principles upon which the state of Medina was built. These principles are unity, justice and rule of law leading to meritocracy, strong moral and ethical foundation, inclusion of all humans in progress and prosperity and finally the quest for knowledge talking about the steps taken for the welfare of the people the prime minister said his government allocated billions of rupees under the ehsas program to provide relief to the common masses imran khan reiterated to establish rule of law which is the most urgent of all challenges facing pakistan imran khan said in pakistan not adhering to the rule of law has led to siphoning off of billions of us dollars which has imposed collective poverty on our public he said pakistan has suffered from elite capture where powerful and crooked politicians cartels and mafias have become accustomed to being above the law in order to protect their privileges gained through a corrupt system Prime Minister Imran Khan has arrived in Peshawar on a day long visit he will chair different meetings and meet important personalities Prime Minister Imran Khan will inaugurate Pakistan Digital City Special Technology Zone in Haripur today Pakistan Digital City Haripur is a flagship project of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government scattered over 86 canal land to provide all facilities to IT industry at one place. It will benefit allied industries like electronics, software houses, mobile phone industry, technology incubators and computer industry in the province. Pakistan Digital City Haripur aims to serve as a state of the art facility to enable collaborations and innovation amongst academia, research, industry and planners from within the country. free and abroad Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain says the government wants to hold talks with the opposition for reforms in electoral process and judiciary as well as accountability systems. In a tweet today, he said this is not possible without negotiations with the opposition. However, he said the corrupt leadership of PPP and PMLN is not interested to discuss any issue except relief in their cases. The minister said if the PMLN detaches itself from Sharif family, it would be a positive development. He said the political parties need to change the leadership involved in moral and financial corruption. He said Nawaz Sharif left his workers behind and went to London in very difficult time. He said such a leader does not have respect amongst its workers. Seven deaths and 4,340 new cases of coronavirus have been reported in the country during the last 24 hours. National Command and Operations Centre in a tweet today said that 49,809 tests were conducted during the said period and positivity ratio remained 8.71 percent. He said 781 patients are in critical condition. President Genocide Watch Dr Gregory Staten has urged international community to play its role in confronting the Hindutva ideology which poses a threat of genocide of Muslims in India. He made these remarks during a US congressional briefing titled Call for Genocide of Indian Muslims organized by the Indian American Muslim Council. Dr Staten's warning is based on data assessed on a scientific model of 10 stages of genocide. According to this model India has crossed all 10 stages. raising serious alarm for the safety of more than 200 million muslims in the country according to dr staten the genocide process of muslims in india has been catalyzed by anti muslim rhetoric of prime minister narendra modi 
India's illegal actions of 5th August in Jammu and Kashmir for Hindutva dominance and controversial Citizenship Amendment Act specifically aimed against Muslims. In the ICC Under-19 World Cup, England beat Bangladesh by seven wickets at Batista last night. Batting first, Bangladesh were all out for 97 in 35.2 overs. In reply, England achieved the target in 25.1 overs for the loss of three wickets. Pakistan will play their first match of the tournament against Zimbabwe at the same venue today. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan